Victorville, home of the Victorville Film Archives. When you got movies like Tom Cruise in them, you can't lose. This season, we're only talking movies. Roll camera, lights, action, and action. Celebrating eight years of On Cinema at the Cinema, it's Tim Heidecker's On Cinema at the Cinema. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. I am your host, Tim Heidecker, and I'm with uh, Greg Turkington. Hey, guys. Uh, glad to be back here in Victorville at the Victorville Film Center, where we are shooting this season of On Cinema at the Cinema. Bringing some expert uh, commentary to the world of current cinema. Yes, and I apologize uh, for, to you. I was a little late today. Uh, it's been, it been a tough couple days in Hollywood for me. Um, well, that's why we do things here in Victor, a little <coughs> different. Right? My uh, people have been asking me what's going on with uh, Ayaka, and um, she. We had a conversation about not having the, not having our, not taking a, a, a little bit of a break on the, having that kid. Now, what yet, do you mean by that? I don't want to get into this with you and you about what this means for me, but it's my choice, her choice, to uh, move f f uh, along without the uh, pregnancy. Uh, and I'm asking her to consider that right now. So she went back to Japan to consider that and talk to her family about it, and whether or not they can afford it and everything. So that's why you haven't been by the theater. No, and uh, I've been on this stuff basically full time, so I've been here Tuesday at the now, bus all station. All this is going to get cut from the episode, so you might as well just stop. Do you have the thing, the, the movies? Yeah. Uh, starting with S Suicide Squad from David Ayers. My, Margaret Roby, Will Smith. Kara, Degla, Kara Devleridge, Ben Affleck, Jared Lego. A government, secret government agent. This is all Decker crap. This is, everyone out there in Hollywood has taken Decker stories. A secret government agency recruits imprisoned supervillains for dangerous black ops missions in exchange for pardoning their Crime. You have to get the air conditioning working here. I can't breathe. Well, it's not the air conditioning. It's the vaping. You're sweating like a pig. You sweat. You're sweating you too. You have your uh, your face is covered like you just got out of the shower. You should at least wait until afterward. There's no reason to do that on air. If this doesn't get into my system, I go to a bad place. At this point, you're the only customer in the whole world that that guy has. Uh, Everyone well, else has either moved on or died. Uh, Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayers. Uh, secret government agency recruits imprisoned supervillains for dangerous cro black opes. It's got that sort of action adventure that you've come to know from Jared Leto. And he is sort of the, ver the best supervillain of all time. <coughs> but what made me like this movie the most is it made me laugh. And I need to laugh right now because things are not going well. And, you know, Ayaka's in Japan right now as she discusses uh, terminating our pregnancy. Well, she's not going to do that after what happened to Tom. I think she should. Use protection, my brothers out there, because you don't want to be in this position. I'd rather not have the pregnancy terminated. I'd rather the pregnancy not happen to begin with. Well, I'm sure she'd rather that she had married somebody else. Well, what did you think of this Suicide Squad? I wish I had. I liked it. I mean, it's kind of cool to see Batman and the Joker and some of these uh, superhero characters, but then in a setting that's really more mm -hmm. reminiscent of our own Decker, you know? Um, it makes you wonder, um, I'm not a comic book head, but I would love to see a Decker comic book and then have the movies, future movies of Decker, spring from the pages of the comic book because that's how a lot of these uh, big studios do it and it seems to work for them. Uh, I would have to say five bags of popcorn is a slam dunk rating for this, and I'm going to throw in uh, a pair of handcuffs for Dr. Sam. 
for doing this once again. Nine lives, starring. No, you, uh, what was your rating for Suicide Squad? Uh, five oh. bags of popcorn and a cup of soda. Can't read this. Nine Lives, uh, directed by Barry Sonnenfeld with Kevin Spacey, Robbie Arnell, Jennifer Gardner, and my favorite, Christopher Walken. Stuffy businessman finds himself trapped inside the body of his family's cat. I'm so tired. I just, I've been trying to sleep at the bus uh, by, um... <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm talking this way. I'm trying not to breathe out of my nose. Okay, well... I don't want the ideas from my head to come out of my nose. I want everything to stay inside. <coughs> I'm trying not to breathe out of my nose because I don't want the ideas from my brain to come out of my nose. Okay. Suicide Squad. Nine lives. Do you have a rating on this? So hot in here. It's really hot. Uh, this is very reminiscent of the Shaggy DA, the Shaggy Dog. Uh, either one of those movies, I guess you'd say, cross that with Garfield, and you know what Nine Lives is all about. It's a kiddie movie for sure. Any movie where uh, a businessman becomes a cat is probably going to have more interest to children than to adults. But any movie that finally, after all these years, pairs Kevin Spacey and Christopher Walken up so that these guys actually have scenes together is going to be of great interest to the adult movie-going population. And that's why I highly recommend Nine Lives. I wish I could give it nine bags of popcorn, but I will give it five bags of popcorn plus a little... A catnip toy. We are uh, on to on cinema on location. No, no. Uh, uh, Nine lives with Kevin Spacey. Did did uh, you see that? Do you have a chance to see it? Uh, five bags of popcorn and. Uh, Okay, on to uh, the first segment this season of one of our most all-time beloved segments called On Cinema, On Location. If you've been watching On Cinema for many seasons now, you know this is our most popular outside segment. In this segment, we look uh, behind the scenes at motion picture filming that took place in a variety of locations. One season we did it with Oh God, which is one of my favorites. This year, we're going to be looking not at films made in Hollywood, but films made right here in Victorville, California. Let's roll the tape. Victorville, California. Every street has a story. And these are but just a few on On Cinema, On Location. Hey guys, Greg Turkington from On Cinema at the Cinema On Location. And we're here in Victorville, California, uh, in front of the sign that says 6th Street uh, as seen in 2015's movie, Broken Horses. If you've seen the movie, uh, you might remember a scene that was filmed exactly where I'm standing uh, in front of this old movie theater. Victorville's got quite a few old movie theaters and of course is home to one of the world's number one film archives, the Victorville Film Archive. So there it is. Of course, if you've seen the movie, there's a ticket, uh, there's a ticket booth right there that's not there anymore. Uh, back to you, Tim. Okay, another uh, on cinema, at the cinema on location with a little bit of a twist. And we will be seeing a lot more of those uh, as the season progresses. <coughs> All right, just, just shut it down. We'll, we'll be back next week uh, with uh, uh, more movie reviews. Uh. Uh. You can't come in like this and do this on the I'm show. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You know, I'm, I'm bringing I can't new professionalism to it this season, and for you to come in, I can't go. I, sweaty. I can't go back. I mean, I can. I can host the show myself. <laughs>
good because this stuff will get you nowhere. All right, let's, I'm gonna call Axe here. Come on. 